1964 Munster coach. The studios gave him about $18,000 to build this in 21 days. Not too bad. It's got an insane Roush motor pumping out about 800 horse. The driver's position in this thing is very tight. I'm not really sure whether Herman Munster could actually get in here. He definitely could sit in the back, but I'm pretty sure you have to be pretty small to drive this thing. The second area is kind of a cabin area. You're not going to get rained on in here, but once again, you're going to have to have tiny legs. position back is the most comfortable. This is definitely something where Herman could sit. Of course, he'd be a lot taller than me, but it's actually surprisingly comfortable. The final position is up top. Let's see how comfortable that is. It's actually the best view in the house. It's pretty cool, although it would probably make me a little bit nervous driving this thing down the freeway and sitting up there. Let's take a look at some of the more finite details, like the pinstriping. the 1964 Munster coach. Really, really cool in a kind of creepy kind of way. Okay, just spent the last hour shooting these cars for the separate vlogs. Love this train set. It's always cool to walk around the museum when there's nobody here. I'm gonna be getting that Jaguar soon. But there's all kinds of toys happening in this place. It just never ends. 